Um, for ECMIF new facility design, the main purpose of our project is to analyze the baseline scenarios, analyze all the given data, and then propose a new facility design, which will be a recommendation that will help them achieve 7% of anticipated growth. Uh, for this project, uh, when we need to design a new facility, we have made some assumptions. So one of them will be like errors and flow pattern. Similarly, we have assumed like we will have inbound volume is equal to outbound volume. We'll have number of employees, dimension of warehouse, size of aisles, dimension of pallets, and space requirement. Based on all these assumptions that we are making, we will propose a new facility design that will help them achieve their goal. Uh, currently, the problem they are having is they cannot expand their current location to achieve the growth that is due to the location being landlocked, it is not feasible and it cannot be expanded further. So based on the given units uh, for the baseline scenario, uh, we projected our units uh, for through 2021. So the total units for the 2021 came up to be 558,000. So we'll be using this this one to uh, calculate our pallets, uh, pallet racks, employees, number of employees, and everything. Uh, so we have uh, calculated to use adjacent flow pattern and we'll be, we'll be having 35 inbound and outbound stations. We'll be using uh, six racks high uh, racks for the six racks high and the equipment selections would be uh, 22 reach trucks, 16 pallet jacks, 50 carts and we'll be using one uh, belt conveyor going from inbound to outbound stations. Uh, similarly, we'll be using RF picking for picking with uh, wrist mount and handle devices. We have will have access control system and 12 card readers to uh, for the smooth flow of people. So after doing all the calculation, we came to uh, decide that our facility will have uh, close to 900,000 square feet. That includes two offices, five restroom, and two big caf cafeteria along with the office. There will be uh, a conveyor belt which uh, will run around almost close to 1,300 feet and it will uh, have a 292 parking spaces for 364 employees the, throughout the 2021 and locker will be provided for each employee. Here is a, a, a facility layout we did on AutoCAD and these are all the racks that we have. There is like uh, almost 460 racks that goes for six high two offices, three other restrooms, and this is a, another layout we did on Visio that uh, goes according to our velocity. We have five different schools and we, we ordered them according to their percentage. And there is more detail of office space and the docking area for incoming and some uh, staging areas right there. So the operational plan that we have is given uh, according to the data that we were given. For the 7% growth, our plan is going to be uh, easily is going to accommodate our projected growth until 2021. And the docking stations that we have, are we're going to have, uh, we're going to add 10 more in 2019 because we don't need to start out with 70 docking stations. And after 2019, we'll be adding the 10 docking stations to accommodate that growth. And uh, the, for our labor, you can, this is our baseline and it's a continuous growth until uh, 2021. And uh, this is the velocity that we were given for the different uh, A, B, C, D, and E category. And this is the, the data that we have used to divide them, divide the racks. We have our cost analysis here, where you can see the main costs are in the beginning for our baseline year, because they're one-time costs. And then in the ensuing years, we only need to add a little bit more on the cost to keep the operation flowing. And our biggest costs are construction and labor. And uh, here you can see a breakdown of our costs. Our total cost is 966 million, and uh, labor is associated to 1.45 million uh, dollars from that total. And uh, the implementation of our plan, how we have uh, done it, is that our inbound and outbound is are in different size, but they're adjacent to uh, ensure smooth flow and. Uh, we have uh, the employees will be added along each year according to the growth. And for the future recommendations, what we have is that we, uh, we're going to recommend implementing more RFIDs and conveyor belts to ensure a smooth flow in our whole facility. Thank you.